Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Would you like to make a football blanket for your littlest football fan? We have one who's a beaver believer. Yay, go team go. Choose two yards of fleece of your favorite team and two yards of a nubby fleece brown that's going to be your football and one eighth yard of white fleece for the football lacing. Make sure that you know the right side, which is the pretty side, and the wrong side of your fabric. Take your team piece and fold it in half. Pay attention to where that selvage edge is that has the printing that you don't want to use. So fold it, keeping that in mind, and then fold it in half again. So now it's in fourths. Now you can see where the two folded edges are, all the way down one long side and all the way down a short side. Do not cut that edge. That is the edge It's going to be your football. Now take a basket and figure out approximately the arch that you want to make your football. Pin along the edges. Make sure again that you have the you are only cutting along the open edges not the folded edge then pin along the shape that you want cut along with your scissors Now unpin your blanket, fold it out, and see if it's the shape you want. If the football ends are a little too rounded, you can always taper a little more to be more pointed like a football. Now take your brown fleece fabric, fold it in half, smooth it all out, fold it in quarters so it's in a half into a half, now it's in fourths, and again pay attention to the folded edges. There's this folded edge and this folded edge is the middle of the blanket. Do not cut along the folded edge. You're going to cut on the open edge. Now take the first piece, lay it right on top of it. Match, make sure you match up the folded edges. The folded edges are all together. Now you can pin it and then cut away the excess of the brown fabric. Always check twice that you're cutting along the open edges. Don't cut off the folded edge. Now lay the two pieces together with the right sides together. You want the pretty sides to the inside because you're going to sew it and then turn it. So lay it out as smoothly as possible. and pin all the way around the edges. You're going to leave an opening where you're going to turn it to the right side out. So make sure that you mark with double pins maybe some way to know that you're going to leave an opening to turn it when you're done. Now sew along the edge all the way around except for the opening for turning it. Stick your hands into the hole, turn your blanket right side out, and now it should be the pretty sides on the outside. Now pin the opening and sew it shut. I also sewed up all the way around about an inch from the edge to keep the blanket smooth and together nice as possible. Lay it out. You can see you have your nice football blanket. It's football on one side, your favorite team on the other. Now take your eighth of a yard of white fleece and you're going to make some football laces. You can eyeball it. I made the large lace about two inches wide. 
and about 30 inches long. The side laces, I made about five of them and they're an inch wide and about nine inches long. Lay them out evenly, pin it all down. Make sure you pin it through both layers of your blanket and then I zigzagged around it. First I zigzagged all the way around the large lace going right over the small laces. Then I went back and zigzagged around the small laces. A trick to smooth sewing, when you get to a corner with the needle down, lift your presser foot, rotate your fabric, drop the presser foot and keep sewing and that will allow you to make nice sharp corners. Always remove the pins when you're sewing. Don't sew over the pins because you can break your needle. Trim all the threads so there's nothing loose and see if it doesn't look like a football blanket with your favorite team. Now all you need to do is add some little fan gear and your favorite little fan and go team go! You have a football blanket with your favorite team for your favorite little fan. Make a nice soft football blanket for your favorite little fan or even for yourself. Learn more at alaskagranny.com. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.